So I was ducking for my life. I was trying to run. I would run. Cordova High School senior Luis Garcia says he was there when shots rang out during the 2023 Memphis Shelby County Schools football jamboree at Cordova High School. Five games involving 10 schools were scheduled to play. I was scared. I was dead. I'm ducking for my life. According to Memphis Shelby County Schools, someone fired a shot into the air at a stadium parking lot. The district says no one was injured. Then all of a sudden you hear something pow pow and people start running. This mother didn't want to be identified but says she had just dropped her daughter off when the shooting happened. I tried to go to the area because at that point my child wasn't answering her phone. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office says two vehicles fled the scene. One of the cars was spotted at a nearby gas station and four people were detained. 19-year-old Cameron Kimbrough, a 17-year-old, a 15-year-old, and a 14-year-old. Detectives say they found two weapons in the vehicle. All four suspects were arrested on weapons charges, but it's unclear whether or not they are responsible for the actual shooting. Then, over at the Whitehaven Stadium, a massive brawl broke out at the Jamboree. A viewer shared this footage of football players fighting on the field. Memphis police say several fights broke out on school property. Police made multiple arrests, with the youngest being a 15-year-old girl. This jamboree consisted of six games involving 12 schools. In a statement, MSCS says 25 sheriff deputies and school resource officers attended each event. And earlier this week, the district released security protocols, including screenings for all attendees using metal detectors. Memphis Shelby County Schools updated our event security procedures to ensure the safety of our students, staff, and families. This mother says she watched as security thoroughly checked every person who walked into the Cordova High School football stadium. However, she says more should have been done to the mass of people standing outside the stadium. When groups form, I never did see anybody go to try to disassemble those groups. Reporting from Cordova, Kwame Chuwilborn, WRAG, New Channel 3.